Hello all, this is our first exercise of equilibrium of a particle. Before we start this problem, I'd like to invite you to subscribe on this channel and like this video. Now let's go to our problem. This problem is the first step that we're gonna do in our equilibrium, is the very basic problem. So determine the force in each chord for equilibrium or a 200 kilogram crate. Core BC remains horizontally due to the roller at C, and AB has a length of 1.5 meters. Set Y equals 0 0.75 meters. So first, I'm gonna draw my free body diagram at ring B for an overview of my problem to see which force that I have. So here I have the weight of the crate that I'm gonna call W. Here to the left, I have my tension BC. And here with an angle, I have my tension AB. So I have three forces and the only known force is uh, the weight of the crate. The second step, I like to find the components, components of the tension AB because doing this I'm gonna find X and Y components. So here I have my tension AB. Here by the exercise I, I have 1.5 meters and here I have 0 0.75 meters. Here I have my triangle. Here I'm gonna call alpha. So here is also my alpha. Here is my component tension ABX. And here is my tension ABY. I can discover my alpha saying sine of alpha is equal 0 0.75 over 1.5. So I know my sine of alpha is equal 0 0.5. So I know my alpha is 30 degrees. And here I know my cosine of alpha is 0 0.866 using my calculator. So here I know my tension AB in Y is equal my tension AB times my sine of alpha. So my tension AB in Y direction is 0 0.5 times my tension AB. And my tension AB in the X direction is tension AB times cosine of alpha. So I know my tension AB is in X component is 0 0.866 times my tension in AB. Now, my third step is coming back for my free body diagram. Body diagram at B, but now using my components. So here I have my ring B, here I have the weight, here I have my tension BC, and now I have my component ABX, and here I have my component of tension AB in Y. Now we can set our equations for our equilibrium. The equations are the sum of the forces in Y direction has to be zero and the forces in X direction has to be zero as well. I'm gonna start with my sum of the forces in y direction is equal to zero. 
the only forces I have pointing up my tension AB in Y direction minus my weight because it's pointing down has to be equal zero. I know my tension AB in Y direction is 0 0.5 times my tension AB minus the great weights 200 kilograms times my gravity that's 9.81 has to be equal zero so i know that 0.5 times my tension ab is equal 1962 newtons and my tension ab is equal 3924 Newtons. If you want to convert, you can put your tension AB is equal 3.92 kilonewtons. It's the same answer. Now, I can do the sum of forces in X component is zero. I have tension AB in X direction minus tension BC is equal to zero. I know my tension ABX is 0 0.866 times tension AB has to be equal my tension BC. So I know my tension BC is equal 3924 newtons times 0. 866 so I have my tension BC is equal 3.398 newtons if you want to convert you can say that your tension BC is equal 3.34 kilo newtons so here I have both of my tensions AB and BC.